e-skaters of YouTube what's up guys I have another maintenance tip for you guys today and you guys are lucky you get to go to the auto parts store with me and I'm gonna walk you through this whole entire process because this is one of the very most important parts of maintenance and you can use this on hub motors or you can use this on outrunner motors and I'm gonna give you examples of both today okay now check out why I'm being prompted to do this. First of all, I had a customer that sent me a board to be worked on. While it was here, I maintenanced it for them, free of charge. I grease everything, and I cleaned the motors. I used the last electrical parts cleaner. That's why we have to go get more. So it's it's been project week. As you can see, all the crap out here. I've been doing testing. This here is hub motors off of a Genesis electric skateboard. I'm going to take... I'm going to take electrical parts cleaner and clean this up because when I go like this and spin I can tell one side has a little bit more drag than the other it's this side here it's not a significant difference but I can tell now when I run it this side stops a lot faster than this side it's not uncommon for one of your motors to stop before the other they don't always stop together but if it's a significant difference watch out so let's go to all the parts store I'll show you where to go in there, what to get, and maybe we'll go over a couple different things they have there too while we're there, if I see anything else that might be of interest. I want to go over here where like the WD-40 is, and right here, we got all sorts of cleaners. Mass airflow. This is connection cleaner. See quick dry formula. Electric grease. That's always a good idea to have. Brake parts. Got the can of electrical parts cleaner here. Got the inside part of the motor or the outer part of the motor got the inside part now I have some real fine sandpaper I'm not gonna put any pressure on it but I'm gonna go around it and knock off any dirt that might be baked in there this is real real fine sandpaper and that's it I'm gonna do that to all of them I'm gonna take the parts cleaner I'm gonna clean it all right make sure all the fluid washes out of the motor the stuff evaporates quick it doesn't leave residue behind I can see the dirt washing right off of it though all the black washing right off try not to touch the inside of this with your fingers after you clean it just the grease from your fingers can be detrimental what I'm gonna do is spray it in the holes and rotate as I go make sure you spray it in there and it washes out of the hole That's the dirt. If you if not, if you spray it this way, you're gonna wash all the dirt to the inside of the motor. So you wanna spray it like this. And then I'll turn it as I do it. So I don't recommend opening these up. See it was all gummed up, now it's starting to turn freely. Just repeat the process till it's clean. If it still feels like it's dragging, that motor's done. What I'm gonna do is paint the outside of these covers here with some ceramic paint. This will help absorb the heat and it'll give it a nice finish.
I went with the flat black ceramic coating. Hardware in it and everything. Guys, thanks for watching. Joe Kaiser over and out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.